What's going on, everybody? Just James Blackport on Snow. Uh, man, it's a gorgeous day today. That's what this is what I was talking about, man. If we if the next couple of days, it's supposed to be about like this, upper 60s, clear. So we'll be we'll be full bore mowing here soon. I'm really looking forward to that. Let me take these off. Really looking, look, really looking for Man, I'm so excited. I'm at my gas station. Y'all know how I do it every day. They love me here. Oh, and uh, one of my competitors, he's not really my, he's my, he, one of my, one of my, one of my competitors, they, uh, they went in here and they see my business cards up on the uh, table here where you, where you check out. They got that desk right there. You know what I mean? And I go, well, how comes he gets to put his business cards here? I said, because we like him. That's what it's about. I'll catch up with y'all. I got a yard to mow today. And... Ah, right, y'all. Uh, just got to the church. They want it done. They also want to get an estimate on uh, some mulch, some trimming, some odds and ends things. So I'm going to get that ready. David's going to go ahead and uh, get started working. I'm going to get everything going down. We're going to get out of here. Got a couple more estimates to do today. And uh, got to tear out some bushes and some shrubs and, a, and another mowing job later this evening today too so we'll keep we'll keep back with you and uh see you see you in the field see you in the field ain't that right about freaking time man hey it's gorgeous today y'all it's like what do you think it's 60 degrees maybe getting there 55 60 55 60 awesome feeling good looking good I and mean, i look i'm looking really good in the sunshine on the right hand oh it's just Get some of this on your face, you look a little better. <laughs> I can't I can't even barely grow a mustache. <laughs> oh well. Look at that burly, ugly bastard back there. <laughs> Second job? Second, yeah. Second job of the year. He's already using up all the weed eater string. It's going to be docked out of your pay. Right. I'd rather hold you than beat you. Hey, give them a tip for any of the new guys out there for pulling their weed eater string out of there. Four arm lengths. Four arm lengths. Four arm lengths. Then you take it and you cut it in half, put behind your ends up, cut it in half, and one on each side. Hey, and it's just that simple out there. Oh, yeah. That's a nice cone. That's a nice cone. back here we're gonna go uh, check out let's go check out the yard real quick and I'm gonna walk around and see if David's still mulching leaves looks pretty good I'll show y'all what's up we're gonna come through and edge all this stuff out later don't look bad that's gonna all be edged and mulched trim mulch putting them beds and weeded you know what it is weed it all out mulch it same thing with here. She don't look shabby. That's gonna be trimmed and weeded, mulched, all that. Heck yeah, man. David's already around the other side. 
Well, I guess David's on the other side, so I'm going to have to run around. But I'm going to start blowing everything off. And then, uh, catch, I'll, I'll kick back with you, man. I'll kick back with y'all. Peace out. I'll kick back, I'll kick back with you. All right, y'all. Hey, here's a pro tip for you. No one else will tell you. Sharpen your weed eater string. Cuts it clean, right? Oh, yeah. Very good. After each use, sharpen all your weed eater string. You ain't gonna have no problems. Go straight up that way? Yeah. Are we going down Main Street here? Yeah. Hey y'all, uh, um, some guy, when we was mowing, I'm turning right here, right? Yeah, right. Or, oh, oh, oh. My bad. I'm supposed to go the other way? Yeah, or I'm a flower looking. Turn right here. Okay. It loops it around? Yeah. <clears throat> but anyway. Some guy, we was mowing, he was neighbors with that church, and he just started raking his leaves out. It wasn't a whole lot. And then uh, I was in the front, Dave was in the back, and he just told David, he just said, they usually mulch them for me. And it's kind of like, it put him in a bad spot. And by the time I get over there, it, everything was already done. And it's like, who, who, do, who normally mulches it? Cause this is a new company now right and so it's like i'm conflicted do i build the do i just take it or build a church and be like hey your neighbor said that uh you pay for his mulch and his leaves see what i mean i don't know man yeah i mean can you imagine i mean he's got, he's buried in leaves back here leaves and sticks Yeah, leaves, a lot of leaves, a lot of sticks. Stomp. Well, sticks, a lot of leaves. So he probably want it all picked up. Is that the stuff he was talking about? Um, that's a pretty view. Yeah. All right, David's getting started on this yard. You'll recognize it from last season. And I'm gonna walk over. Right here is my other yard, so. I'm gonna get started right here. I'll try to get some mowing footage here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock out the weed eating real quick. You'll recognize this property from last season too. So I'm gonna get started and then uh, I'll be right back with y'all. <laughs>
looking fat The boys in the band are cooking on a country line Sometime this week, get them mulch and uh, get it edged. Get whatever plants they want, get it put in. <sighs> yeah, y'all need to go check out Owner uh, Owner Lawn Care. He's an upcoming channel. He's not as good as us. He's not as good looking as us, but he tries. And the least we can do is show someone uh, show someone some support in a community who at least tries. You know, right? Yeah. He'll get it. He works real hard. He'll get it someday. He works real, real hard. All right, we're going to get these bricks stacked. Keep chasing your dreams, man. Keep hustling. Keep grinding. You all know what it is. Peace. Davey did a good job today. Thank you, sir. There's that gun range down there. All right, guys, real quick, while, while David's loading the, loading the truck up, I uh, told you uh, I kind of fill you in on a little bit of my story, some of the backstory and different things. Uh, I used to really, I'm like a talk radio junkie. Uh, I'm a big fan of like Mark Levin, Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh. I love the Joe Rogan podcast. I, love, I listen to a lot of different, a lot of different podcasts. Uh, <laughs> I used to, in my idea, I used to listen to a guy uh, named Dan Carlin. And uh, at that time, it was about 2012 or so, I listened to a lot of like Dan Carlin and uh, he had a hit, hard, hardcore history podcast. Um, I wanted to be a, uh, a high, school, high school history teacher. I wanted to be a high school history teacher and Somehow, somehow I let alcohol totally change everything, and that's what led me down the path of opioids. It's so weird how, and like that was before my dad died and everything. It's so weird how little things like that, like thinking you're strong enough, thinking you're, thinking you don't need help, can just overnight just turn everything around, but... Like I said before, there's there's all kinds of help out there, which is kind of weird because, like, before I started any of this, I didn't know how to run a zero turn, didn't know anything about lawn care or anything. Got into it and fell in love with it. So this, all I wouldn't take away any of my failures, none of them, because it, would lead, it wouldn't lead me back to where I am today. Where I'm at right now is I'm super happy with everything, got a beautiful family starting a, a business we just signed a decent well we haven't done it yet we're gonna be signing a contract tomorrow it's gonna be super busy so i mean yeah man just keep grinding as long as you keep grinding keep up like the it's always darkest before dawn i never knew that it was gonna anything successful would ever happen now it's all starting to come to fruition here's this thing where's the chainsaw oh back there Gas can. Oh, God, I forgot. I didn't realize there's gas in there. Whew. All right. Yep. I think that's it.
Looks good. Got it to the dump. Got everything cleaned up. Can you break it off there? Be a, I think it pops in. Get it? Yeah. Well, you already did it. Yeah. Put, uh, push back in. But uh, I got to work with my uncle for a little bit tomorrow. I'll get, help him out. What are you doing tomorrow? Anything? Probably nothing. We're, at, we're uh, actually got to sign a contract early, early in the morning. Uh, as long mm. as it's to my liking. Which it will be. Uh, sign a contract tomorrow, and then uh, I'll be working with my uncle, so I don't, I might not have a video tomorrow. Uh, but that's okay, because I've been uh, putting one out every day now, so. All right.